Hi, I'm Jeff Altman, The Big Game Hunter. I coach people around job search, hiring, managing and leading, being more effective in the workplace in general. Someone asked me a great question. It's, how do you spot a bad company culture, environment, bad job scope, scope before accepting an offer? What a great question. And it requires some effort on your part. And it starts off with the effort of noticing. So, for example, when you walk in on the interview, what are the people like? What's the energy like in the room? How do they conduct themselves with you so that you feel as though, well, you notice how they feel? Are they energized or not? Uh, do they seem run down, worn out? What's going on? Now, one person, that's not enough to judge by. The entire office, two, three people, that's something to notice and inquire about. Because it's not just as simple as noticing, it's perhaps something along the lines of, you know, is there anything else you want to ask? Yeah, I'm curious about the culture around here. Like, for example, you seem, you know, pretty worn out today, or you seem kind of tired. I don't know if that's a normal condition for you. What's it like working here? So I just want to check what the environment's like. You notice your future boss. Do they seem irritable, cranky, annoyed? Hey, you know, anything else? You know, I notice that you, uh, you seem like you're under a lot of stress. What's going on? I'm curious what it's like for the staff. Are they under a lot of pressure? It can be as simple as the questions that you ask. Now, if you don't want to do it at the interview, another way is to look for people who work for this firm and in this group on LinkedIn. Again, it requires some effort and may require that you send a connection request or join a group that they're a part of so you can message them. Or you can, of course, pick up the phone and call. So, for example, what you might do in looking on LinkedIn is see someone who's doing similar work to that which you're going to be asked to do. Do you have a job description? Pull out some phrases from the job description. Do a LinkedIn search. Narrow it down by company as well. And lo and behold, by the way, you can also narrow it down by former employees, not necessarily current ones. And thus be able to contact former employees and say, hey, you know, I just interviewed at so-and-so. And did you work for such-and-such -such there? No? Okay, I'm sorry. Is there someone that you know who did? Because uh, I just picked up something about the environment there. I just want to check it out because I don't know if it's true or not, but uh, I just want to get a sense of what it's like working in that group. Well, I could tell you about that. You know? And they, they may share some stories. It may be a group that interacts with the one that you're interviewing with. No matter, the idea is always to investigate, to start by noticing what's said and not said, the behavior and the personalities of the people that you're speaking with. Are they high-strung and irritable, seemingly, down and depressed? What's the noise like in the room? Is it kind of energized or dead? You know, or some gradient in the middle? However it is, it's always worth investigating. And Again, back to the notion of what it'd be like to work for that particular manager. I always remind people, everyone's on good behavior when they interview. You're on good behavior, and so are they. So understand, they are not always going to be that nice, pleasant individual that you're talking with today. There are going to be days that they're grumpy, grouchy, or what have you. And you, you recognize that, but the question is, what's the overall trend with this person? I, I was talking with someone recently who joined a new firm who wound up with a manager from hell. And he had turned over 60 people in the last year. Now, even if that's an exaggeration, it was 40 in the last year. You know, that's a hell of a lot of people to be turning over. And you recognize that, you hear that story in your head for the hills, because there's no way you're going to be the one person out of all of those who's going to make it through. You're right to always investigate culture. But like you, I remind you, they are always on good behavior. And everyone's going to tell you all sorts of happy stuff. But unless you investigate and inquire both directly or indirectly about what it's like working in that team, 
you're operating on clairvoyance. And uh, I know I'm not particularly clairvoyant. I suspect the same is true of you too. I'm Jeff Altman. Hope you found this helpful. My website is TheBigGameHunter.us. If you're interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching on the homepage, you can sign up for a free discovery call or sign up for coaching as well. And there's a lot more content in the blog that you can watch, listen to, or read to help you find work more quickly. Also, if you're watching on YouTube, click the little icon in the lower right-hand corner and subscribe to my channel. You get lots of information delivered to me when I create it. Have a great day and take care.